All right, guys, third HGA 60 day uh, return here. I uh, sent this, I think, uh, I don't know, I think this one was early, early May. Just got it back in today. Same thing, I'm doing a trial. Uh, you know, it's quite a bit of trials, actually. There's uh, six total subs over there. Combination of cards from all different eras and different types. This one, I believe, is more ultra modern, but it's paper. I think there's like Donruss and Tops in it. Um, from this year so just wanted to see the quality comparison to uh, some of the other companies that I typically grade with um, these same thing uh, these are cards I looked at that um, be surprised if they get gem mints but they've surprised me already before I might be overcritical I look at everything with uh, 60x jewelers loop black light fluorescent lights all sort of different lights so I just might be a little bit overboard with it. Anyways, I will once again put a um, timestamp because the box I typically struggle with opening in each of these reveals. The pop report is not accurate. Before they were able to, uh, I guess, from reading a lot of the um, whatever's on the online forums and, and the Facebook groups, typically they'd grade the card and they would show up on the pop report if you had something that was obviously a super low pop report you could probably figure out your your grades um, before you got them but typically they don't they're, they're not doing that right now which i think is cool it's dumb it's like why why just why not just wait an extra like three or four days from the time they ship right you've already waited 30 60 maybe 10 i don't know how many days depends on your service so here we go i'm gonna flip this I don't know what the okay yeah these are the donruss from this year and some tops i think so first card as you can see on the back is tyrese halliburton um centering on the back looks good they grade the backs harder i think than any other company out there so in the um in a lot of the groups that i'm in that in regards to hga people always get kind of really irritated they're like oh the front looks perfect i don't see how this is a nine centering the front might look good but the back's horrible um, and that's kind of how they account i was told 60 percent of the front grade uh, and and 40 percent of the back is what accumulates to the total so if you have a great front and a crappy back you're not going to get a gem so first one gem mint um don russ like i said these cards are hard if you don't look at these cards with a loop itself and the corners the edges they might look perfect to you even under 10x but if you increase it to 30x you'll see the edges on these are mostly beat up so um gem mint happy with that uh, team color splash looks good second one is a dylan carlson got a nine on this one so corners edges surface and center look good so nine mint it's about right same thing tops hard unless you look at a loop so, uh, not horrible. Alec Baum, nothing should be less than a nine, especially with the new cards. Nine for Baum, nine corners, nine edges, nine five surface and centering. Slabs look pretty good with it. Another one, gem. So this one got a nine five, 10 surface, nine five, nine five. So that's a win right there. And this one actually I saw from my brother, Lamelo Ball. Good luck, Cedric. I know the centering one, this one was off. But uh, we'll take a look. Nine mint centering edges and surface. Yeah, these are a little bit more brutal to Don Russ. So there you have it. Quick one. Thoughts on this paper? Probably not the friendliest uh, from the subs I've had. Two gems is still a win. Three nines. Like I said, nothing is really supposed to gem. So I'm pretty excited that I get any of these. Um, but overall, like I said, they will grade corners, edges, uh, especially I think surfacing, harder than anybody else um, out there. Some people don't agree with it, but I do, because these are the ones I notice flaws with myself. So, um, good experiment. Paper, probably not your best friend over at HGA unless you look under 3060 and they look pretty crisp. Like I said, I noticed under 30X that these ones had some issues with them. Though minor, uh, they could probably pass for Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these came back um, PSA 10. Um, but either way, not not doubting PSA. They just I think they look at things from a 10x. HGA doesn't tell you, so that's the hard part. Like if you look at anything under a 10x, let me grab this sucker. 
There it goes. If you're looking at 10X, you probably can't see shit, but 10X on these, even under a black surface, if you had this over it, you wouldn't be able to tell that um, the edges or surface and stuff like that super bad, except right there, a little bit whitening on there. I don't know if it constitutes a nine. There's more to it than that. But there we go. All right, either way you have it. Feedback so far, I think they're pretty accurate. Um, like I said, I'm actually getting a lot more gems than I'd expect um, from from this particular company. It was based on everything I've been reading in the forums and stuff. So, so far, I do think they grade fair because they grade the whole card, not just the front. Um, are they hard on the back? Yeah. Do I feel like they should be? Yes, because the card is, you know, one piece or whatever. It's front and back, not just front. So, three nines and the nine five on this one. I do have another return coming back uh, next Thursday. And then I have another one coming back the following week. And I believe another one that's going to be due the following week after that. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy.